brighten up those dark mornings. Wheeler, Ollie, and Lecter. Mornings at the Cabin. Mornings at the Cabin on a Wednesday morning. It is a little dark. We're getting about 14 hours of darkness now versus, what is it, 10? 10 hours? Yeah, that's right. 10 hours of sunlight. Sunrise 822, sunset 622. That's right. We're into the doldrums of winter. But it's still kind of warm outside. It's only it's only just below zero. Which is not great. Because it's, it's all sloppy and it's wet It's sloppy there. and gross out like, there. Just get cold. And then it freezes and it's super icy. Yeah. No good. If you're going to snow, just stay cold. Yeah, for goodness sake, make up your mind. Come on. Yeah. Um, This morning, we do have the uh, territory-wide, soon-to-be nationwide famous Hernandez crew coming in. They were selected for Family Feud Canada. We, of course, will be asking them, what makes you think you're better than us? Because we did not get selected. And they will say, we're just... We're just funnier. We're just a noise. A buzzer will go in the background. There's, bing, bing. And it'll turn out to be the number one answer. They are fantastic. They had, like, they, they did, they, they had the, the rap that they did for the video. They, they were, they had good stories, good personality. I'm really hoping that the Happy Family made it. I haven't heard anything back. So. Uh oh. Are they actually called the Happy Family? Well, that's they what they called, called themselves. themselves. Really? The Happy Family? Yeah. 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 That's cute. Yeah. yeah, they were great. Yeah. All of them had great personalities. Like, they were all just, like, like bigger than life. Uh, really, really good with each other, and like had a great story. They moved from Nigeria to Toronto to here. So I mean, it's, it's a pretty great story and a happy story and a happy story, and they're wonderful. So we're hoping that they get on as well. But around eight o'clock, Godson and uh, a couple family members. He hasn't let me know how many of he's bringing. So I guess we'll find out a little later on. Okay. Family Feud Canada. What it takes to get onto Family Feud Canada. Although you did hear us. Uh, in our email yesterday, we still have a chance. Still got a shot. Season two, if it happens. Mornings at the Cabin, the podcast. Boolesque dress rehearsal drops tonight. I am terrified. And it should be, because it's Boolesque. It's going to be a lot of crazy, creepy stuff going on. Live crowd. Too. Live crowd, I know. My mother's going to be in the audience. Mm. Um, I am terrified. I hear your act is awesome. Well, who told you that? Oh, stop it. Come on. <laughs> We're having a lot of fun. I mean, Good. But, but the thing is, it's like across the board, everything's awesome. Yeah. Like everybody's just giving it their all and the, the acts are Everything's are incredible. cool when you're part of a team. Everything's cool when you're part of a team. That is not the melody. Um, living your dream. But uh, you're, you're uh, Nicole's act uh, with uh, Charlotte Mark Jacobs. Mm. Incredible. Yeah. Very cool. It's been very involved. I bet. Yeah. I've yeah. Uh, really enjoyed, well, at times enjoyed now, yeah. now that she's, you know, feeling pretty good about it, mm-hmm. but it, there's been a, there's been a real story arc of this, uh, this situation. There really this has. Performance. It yeah. started out there like, oh, this great idea. Yep. Here's how we're going to do it. It's mm-hmm. going to be awesome. And then they started to like put the wheels in motion and yep. realize, oh, this is going to be really tough to this pull off. Hard. Uh, how are we actually going to be able to rehearse this? Yep. And then like a week or two ago, like this is a disaster. We uh, should have done this. Uh, idea. Uh, <laughs> but now they got it all together. Uh, yep. I think uh, Nicole feels pretty confident about it. Yeah, so. I saw it on Monday. Yeah. Or saw at least a little bit about it on, on Monday. And it's 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 fantastic. Yeah. Um, but I mean, like, and that's the thing with all these, all these acts, like everybody's just like, this is my idea. And, I mean, most, a lot of people have like completely gotten their idea and put it all into fruition, like have, have realized it all. Even myself, and my partner were like, there's this and this and this. And then we're, we're both like, well, neither of us can dance really well. So <laughs> we kind of, we kind of put in some <laughs> stuff and then, and, but like you, you kind of try to bite off as much as you possibly can. And then you're kind of like, okay, we kind of trim this we can trim this kind of thing and right. we haven't done much trimming we've like basically what we kind of visualize is up there on the stage mm. now it's just to it's just time to execute yeah you know um, you go. oh god oh i will say one thing about this whole process you're though. clamming up right now aren't you? i am <laughs> uh, I, this whole process this this it's a very much um obviously there's this huge cast yes it's it's an ensemble, but kind of not really. So there's a, a very different feel. This is very different for me because usually when you go through a show with a large cast, you're spending hours and hours and hours together, mm. right? On stage or whatever, behind stage, whatever. Right. So you get this kind of com- camaraderie. And there is that because there's, you know, a couple of private groups are on Facebook or whatever. And we know, we mostly know each other. Yeah. But there's not that, that big sense of, that big sense of urgency when it kind of comes to a large group, I guess, right. doing it all, all on stage together. Yeah. Like we're all here for each other. Yeah. And we are, but 
we're not on stage together. So it's, yeah. very, it's just very different for me. Yeah, you're all you're all part of the same show, but it's not necessarily a yeah. big cohesive. No, uh, big yeah performance. That's kind right. Of thing. But every so everybody gets their chance to shine, which is awesome. Yeah, it's just a very different a different thing for me. It's a very different feeling. I'm nervous, um, but there's nothing there's nothing to kind of mitigate that nervousness by being like, well, someone's going to be there. Yeah, but it would be if I drop a line, then someone will just pick it up. Yeah, or whatever. <laughs> it's right. like it's me and my partner, and if one of us screws up, it's going to be like, get yeah, all right. And nobody else knows what's going on. <laughs> Good, just make it look like whatever. <laughs> but uh, we're having so much fun and. Um, I know that there's been a few tickets kind of like loosely getting out there, so keep your eye out if uh, mm-hmm. you do want to see the show this uh, this weekend. Uh, not tonight because dress rehearsal is kind of for for family and friends, right. and, uh, yeah. and then Thursday, Friday, Saturday are the shows. Um, but I know that there's some tickets people are trying to figure out. So some people can't go, blah, blah, blah. So these tickets will become available hopefully uh, if uh, – well, I mean, not hopefully, I guess, if they get used, great. Yeah. But, I mean, if you haven't uh, – if you don't have tickets, maybe you keep an eye out on Facebook, yep. and some tickets will pop up yeah um yeah they surely will i i hope so yeah i mean it's sold out so i mean we're good yeah so either we're way, good either way, way. Whatever. we're good either way yeah so it's uh it's a little nerve-wracking uh everybody's put in so much bloody work yeah it's ridiculous and the biggest the biggest thing is just how it's just how little time you actually have like you're like oh we got like seven weeks before right. the show and then you get together like six times like yeah six or seven times when you can um and uh and then when you're at rehearsal, you're not rehearsing your piece. You're not there for two hours rehearsing your piece. You're there for two hours, and you basically run the show. Mm-hmm. That's how you kind of run rehearsal. So you're you're working for about 15 minutes. Yeah. And other than that, you're sitting, watching, kind of learning everybody's act and kind of like giving notes if you want to or whatever. But it's just a very different rehearsal process, a very different show process. It's been very interesting to see how it all kind of comes together. And uh, But the, the one thing that doesn't change from any other show is that everybody's working incredibly hard yep. and putting in all kinds of extra time that like none of us have we all work so much i think and, it's uh, uh, yeah i think it's been a unique year in the way too that uh of course the show is going down at the top night mm-hmm. and the top night has been undergoing renovations yeah so we haven't been able to be on that stage yeah. usually they get in there about a week earlier yeah so we didn't get on the stage until monday so i got the sense that uh terry the the manager down at the top night is is probably like kind of in the same feeling of you yeah. as you guys is like i hope we're ready yeah uh, I just, well everything ah. seems ready now i mean the stage is there the curtains are up so awesome it's ready it's awesome. it ha- that's it has great to, to hear basically so. yeah well i mean i guess you could always dress it up if yeah not, but, that's right uh, that's right but yeah I, I i i got the sense that he was starting to get a little nervous about how things were uh, oh yeah coming right i mean they, they did a bunch of work and they did it really quickly so i mean good props to them as well that's awesome and props to everybody involved in Blue so if you get a chance to uh, keep an eye out on facebook you might be able to find a ticket or two uh it promises to be a great show and that's about it i'm terrified <laughs> The Mornings at the Cabin podcast was recorded before a sort of live, thankfully not in the studio, audience. Tonight, from City Hall, Ollie Williams will take down your next NWT MP. That's what it is, right? This is like some sort of sparring match. This is when Justin Trudeau fought that that dude that used to be a Hell's Angel. What, what was that he again? used to be a Hell's Angel? I don't know. That guy Justin Patrick Trudeau Rizzo. used to be a Hell's Angel. Justin Trudeau, Hell's Angel. Well, Hashtag that stuff right mm. now. Wow. All right. Tonight at City Hall, your next uh, NWT MP is live. And uh, you can get your seat. At, can you still get a seat? Yep. You can still get a seat. Yep, we've got about uh, 10, 15 left. So, 10 or 15 uh, left, okay. Yeah, if you are not yet on the guest list, all you got to do is go to our website, click on the big thing for the show tonight, and uh, follow the instructions. It's pretty simple. Uh, so I'm sure there'll be scalpers too. If yeah, probably. Else. I mean, yeah, yeah there should be a few out there yeah. in front of in front of City Hall, just trying to hawk tickets. That's right. You know, so get, <laughs> get your tickets here. Get your tickets. Your next MP. <laughs> MP. Mm. Very posh scalpers. That's right. Well, I mean, <laughs> hello. Na- Don't you like nineteen thirties scalpers? Nineteen <laughs> thirties uh, ticket hawkers. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I think you should say political scalpers. I don't oh, think you hello. Say that word. Parliament. <laughs> Yeah, that's right. That's right. Get your tickets, yeah? <laughs> ah, very good. Very <laughs> good. So, uh, 90 minutes tonight, it's a, it's one on five. Mm-hmm. Ollie Williams versus every MP <laughs> candidate. Slightly more confrontational than I really had in mind. <laughs> no, this is this is how oh. we need to sell it. People need to sell it. We need to sell it with sex or violence. So, this is not well, sexy, right. if you're so let's go violence. All the two options. <laughs> <laughs> They're all two options. Sex or violence. 
So it's going to be violence because none of this is going to be sexy. Well, you can't be on their team, Ollie, so you've got to be an adversary. That's right. That's how it works, Take right? that adversarial role. There's no neutral anymore. And remember, we're only slightly biased here at uh, Gavin Radio South. Oh, uh, yeah. And, well, which candidate is bought and paid for by the Chinese? This is what we need to know. I thought that was us. Yeah, that is us. Uh. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> That's you, Deputy, That's right. Deputy uh, And there will MLA. be, uh, Ollie will open everything with a land acknowledgement and also saying, hey, listen, China's not doing that bad. <laughs> Um, that's how we're going to open tonight's proceedings because there's a billion dollars at stake. Okay. <laughs> Question Please. one: Can you speak Chinese? Hashtag. Question two: Have you been to China? China. <laughs> Do you like China? What hashtag are you about basketball. Hashtag. We stand with LeBron. Okay. So tell us a little bit about tonight. This is. Um, yep. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about tonight. Okay. Uh, yeah. All five of them in City Hall. Uh, they will be all up on the rostrum at the top there where the councils usually are. Yes. Uh, and. It will be on air at 8 p.m., and they will have 90 minutes to go through a series of questions prepared by yours truly uh, with the help of some questions that are submitted by people. If you want to do that, keep an eye on our Facebook page. There's going to be an opportunity to send in questions a bit later on this morning. We'll pick from the best of those, and we will put them to all five and find out what these people think. We've already had one chance at that, so CBC had a, a debate last week. Yeah, uh, which was really good. So this is sort of the second half of that. If you like, we won't ask any of the stuff that got us that time around. We'll try and develop some of those themes a little bit and ask some different stuff and try and present the most rounded picture we can of who all of these people are so that you can go out and vote for one of them. One of them? Not oh. two or three. <laughs> I got to vote for three out of five. Um, we talked on the national debate about how there should be a rule implemented, a three shut-ups rule. Yeah. Are you going to implement <laughs> yeah, that's right. the three shut-ups rule? I How watched, tough are you going to be on these times? I watched the CBC debate. So good. And Lauren <laughs> McGuinness had to almost quite insistently ask the candidates <laughs> to have some crosstalk, which was a bit of a change from the national debate. Lauren was there. Basically, there was a moment where he literally said, would, would anybody like to issue a rebuttal? <laughs> and, <laughs> your mic is on, and, in case and, you're wondering. Four or five seconds of silence went by before I think like Yannick or somebody leant forward and went, Coughed. "Oh, I'll, I'll go." <laughs> and I was like, I, "It's not a question of a go." <laughs> like, can I? Can I I'll, go? I'll have a go at this. <laughs> Thank you. Know, you. It was just supremely polite. There was a moment where, yeah, like Michael McLeod for the Liberals tried to ask Yannick Dagler for the Conservatives. Like he delivered some sort of dig or other and Yannick bless him, How was your even, afternoon Yannick? Yannick didn't even hear it and so <laughs> what? Said, so I'm like oh I'm sorry I, I missed that and Michael had to like lean into the microphone with a bit of a sigh <laughs> like, <sighs> you're terrible you know what it's, it's not worth it let's yeah. just move on next question <laughs> it was it, there was really yeah I, I honestly think I did have and I won't identify the party in question but one of what the, color was this party one of the party's team uh, like campaign team members did write to me yesterday asking if I would politely ask the audience not to applaud so it doesn't interrupt oh. me. <laughs> and I thought, well, this can only come from a party that doesn't expect its to be, to be the one getting any. I will give you two options. Okay. Yeah. Oh, so my goodness. That was quite entertaining. I said, like, look, if it becomes an issue, I will just yell at the audience to shut up. But I, Three shut ups. I honestly, they're gone. Yeah, there it is. I highly doubt that in the course of 90 minutes, the sheer length of applause is going to adversely affect the broadcast. Wait a minute, was that a hint at what party you think is not going to the sheer <laughs> yeah, length of oh, applause? Very, I didn't even think of that. Ooh. Very good. Very good. Seven minutes standing O. You're like, all right, everybody, can you pipe down? We've literally, he just introduced himself, all right? <laughs> I think we might have a few party activists in the room. <laughs> the rock star what are you gonna do that's absolutely right <laughs> who is the rock star out of this this uh this these five you well, think? it depends what kind of rock star do you want a rock star that's like fresh on the scene and new or do you want a rock star like mick jagger that's being like held up by the seams and is just sort of <laughs> living out the final last embers of their existence yes um uh, yeah, both because i would say all five are rock oh. stars on that spectrum <laughs> oh. uh, i mean uh, luke quinlan I mean, close to a rock star. He's got that rockabilly thing going on. Mm -hmm. right? Slicking back your head. Tight white t-shirt jeans. A rock star. Leaned up against the wall. <laughs> a certain era, though. That's right. That's okay. very, a very certain era. Yeah. You can only hope his policies don't come from that era as well. Um, it's it's going to be interesting. I mean, obviously, this is this is the, this is the biggin', right? It's coming up on the 21st. We're voting for mm -hmm. new federal leadership. 
hopefully. And um, I guess we'll see what happens. But, I mean, I, I, I know how well you do at these things. So, I mean, I won't be able to listen to it. Will it be played again? Yeah, you'll be able to watch it back on uh, Facebook Live. Okay. And, uh, we'll, have a, we'll have the stream yeah. play again sometime? I've um, Yeah, probably. I, I've never actually done a f- forum like this before. So I'm actually I really feel excited like to have I feel like everything you do is a forum like this. Like if you're talking to Scott and I, just just kind of at a at a lunch, it feels like you're yeah. moderating something. Yeah. yeah. Honestly, this is probably more difficult <laughs> than tonight is going to well, be. Well, because everybody else is polished, and they're like, "Well, I have answers prepared for these questions that I'm thinking he's going to ask." Whereas we're just kind of like, blah, like blah 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 blah, federal yeah. election, blah 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 blah, China. So Michael McLeod tonight will be squinting, going, "What does that say on the whiteboard, Ollie? You wanted to talk about." The economy? <laughs> What's All that right, about? Go ahead, Ollie. Talk yeah. about the economy. Go ahead. <laughs> oh. Yeah. I I, uh, I do. This hope is going to be that, great. Yeah. It's going to be great. I think uh. you should bring our little whiteboard and just write your topics up there and just yeah. hold them up. Whoever can see this can answer it. There you go. There you go. Everybody puts on their reading glasses. Oh, I see. That's how we do it on the morning show, so it's good enough for the debate. <laughs> Cost of loving. Well, I'll, I'll field that one. Um, okay. Well. Eight o'clock tonight. Still tickets available. You said 10, 10 or fifteen tickets available. Yep. So if you want to go see Ollie take down all your M- MP candidates, it's tonight. Remember, sex or violence, and uh, you know, violence sells better than sex. I think. Sarah, who just walked into the room, <laughs> is extremely lost. Sarah, this is how we sell Ollie versus five MPs. It's either sex or violence. So it's Ollie versus the five MP candidates. Oh, she's with you now. Yeah, that's right. There she goes. She's she's nodding in agreement with a big smile on her face. Uh, so stay tuned for that. That's tonight. If you want to go see it, 10 to 15 tickets available. Um, but you can listen live on our stream, camradio.ca uh, slash live, or on the app, or check it out on Facebook Live as well. Yep. Right on. This is all we could salvage. We've got four pulse rifles with about 50 rounds each. Not so good. About 15 M40 grenades and two flamethrowers, less than half full, one damaged. And we've got four of these robot sentry units with scanners and display intact. How long after we're declared overdue can we expect a rescue? 17 days. 17 days? Hey man, I don't want to rain on your parade, but we're not going to last 17 hours! Those things are going to come in here, just like they did before, and they're going to come in here, they're going to come in here, they're going to kill us! Hudson! Hudson! This little girl survived longer than that with no weapons and no training, right? <laughs> Why don't you just put her in charge? So you better just start dealing with it. Just deal with it, Hudson, because we need you. And I'm tired of your bull spit. Scenes from the cabin. Know the movie? Submit your guest to mailbox at cabinradio.ca or send us a message on Facebook for your chance to win gift certificates to some awesome Yellowknife restaurants, including the Monkey Tree Pub and Steak Restaurant, the Woodyard Brew House and Eatery, Flavor Trader, Copper House Eatery and Lounge, or Javaroma. Listen to Cabin Radio every weekday to win or download the Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Yes, mornings at the cabin. Back with you on your Wednesday morning, Wheeler and Ollie with you, along with the almost the entire Hernandez clan that is going to be on Family Feud Canada season one. They found Woo. out yesterday. Well done. Uh, just step forward and just say yay. Yay! yay. <laughs> so we've got everyone except Godson, but uh, step forward and give everyone your names. Uh, my name is Anna Hernandez. All right. I'm Noel Godson Hernandez. Boom. <laughs> I'm Jesse Jimenez. <laughs> I'm Melissa Hernandez. And oh. Oh, 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 God, <laughs> in the flesh. <laughs> so right. you realize that you can't do this at CBC and just stroll in <laughs> halfway through the show, right? Oh, God, son? Okay. Yeah, Gary D's not going to have it. Not going to have it. Congratula- First of all, congratulations. This is amazing. We were all part of the, well, Ollie wasn't, so we won't talk to him. <laughs> but uh, we were all part of the uh, auditions on, what was it, uh, September 7th. Yeah. Uh, we were all at the Chateau Nova, and uh, you guys just crushed it. You guys had so much personality, so <laughs> loud. Did we? But you did, well, okay. Exactly. We were just talking about this. <laughs> Gameplay wise, y'all aren't making the show. But, <laughs> <laughs> but personality wise, you guys had the the great video, and uh, and you guys just uh, brought the energy, brought the good energy, good vibes on that uh, on that day, and uh, it got you guys selected. So that's amazing. Free trip to Toronto yeah. next Woo-hoo! month to film. You're gonna be, you guys are gonna be there for at least four or five days. Yes. But if you win, you're there like in perpetuity. Basically, you just keep winning. Yeah, so, I think you get three episodes. Three, yeah, next three episodes. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. And there's a chance to win big, big money as well. And a car. Like, what? A car? Oh, yeah. There's a car in there as well. Isn't fiat? There? Yeah. She said, she said <laughs> no, not a Fiat. <laughs> <laughs> You know, you know where you know where Aaron works, right? Uh, not a fiat. Okay, so what we wanted to do, we want to have you guys in here, obviously, to say congratulations. This is very exciting for you guys, very exciting for for Yellowknife as well to have some representation out there on CBC. Um, but we have Ollie here as well. Hi, just, just hello, Ollie, <laughs> and to test your family feud skills, we already, oh, no. we already know. Play that. a couple of rounds <laughs> of Family Feud. Now we don't have buzzers, and we've only got the two mics for the five people. So, what's up? Can I just briefly point out? Not not only was I not there for the audition. No, you're not there. You have no I idea. I've never play the game. seen this show <laughs> in North America. Okay, I've only seen the British version, which, for all I know, it's not the same thing. Could be very different. No, it is actually. It's very similar. Okay. So basically, what I'm going to do the f- the first question will be like just it'll it'll be a random question, and you the top answers will be on the board or whatever, right? So okay. we don't have a board already. Oh, sorry, I didn't. Oh. I, I can't see. I have no glasses. On. <laughs> I so I've glasses. got some questions here lined up, and uh, because we don't have a buzzer, and because I don't want to go through the whole order of everything, you guys just step up to the mic, say your name, and that'll be your buzzer. Okay, really close into the mic. Does that makes sense. Like, you got to mean it. So pop yep. forward, and yeah, say your name. That'll be your buzzer. Okay, and uh, Ollie, same thing. Yep. Okay. Round one. Okay. I'm Harvard. nervous. Just one second. I'm nervous. <laughs> Is nervous last night? There we go. This. There we go. Now I'm in the feeling. All right. We'll put, bring that down a little bit. And our first question. We surveyed 100 people. No, I did. You personally, didn't. I did. I surveyed 100 people. Name a character from Game of Thrones. Jesse. Jesse. Oh, right. Holly. You didn't see. You know. Jesse, go. Oh. um, Cersei. <laughs> Cersei is on the board. Number five. All of you have a chance to steal. Jon Snow. Jon Snow is the number one answer. Oh. All right. Now, Don't you uh, watch Game of Thrones, Aaron? That's and, <laughs> good job, William. Good there job. we go. High five, William. Okay, now so you, you've got yeah, the top William answer. <laughs> there are the top. There's the top eight answers on the board. Two are gone. Okay, now I need you to name more Game of Thrones characters. Uh, Tyrion. Tyrion Lannister is number four. Good. Uh, what, what's the Queen of Dragons? What's Queen of Dragons? Uh, Daenerys. Uh, that, you got it. yeah. That number that's that, that's number two. So that's four answers gone. Go ahead. Who else? Is there? <laughs> that's strike number one. And because because it's just you and it's more complicated to answer with one, they get to answer now. You got Wait, your strike. What? Okay, what? fine. You get two strikes. Okay, I'm gonna go almost right. Jamie. That Jamie, number five. Yep. Um. Oh, uh, Hodor. Hodor. Hodor's not gonna be on there. Is that's it. That's it for Ollie. You guys name one more character on this list of of, of eight characters well, for the win. For the win this round. Oh, my yeah. God. Go this ahead. is Jesse. our team leader. What? Jesse, go. Brandon. No. Ollie wins first round. <laughs> he was oh, not on the list. Oh, Williams, the rest of them are a Santa Stark, Arya? Ned Stark, Sorry, and who Arya Stark. Oh, Sana, right. Sansa. Pardon oh, me. Okay. It says Sana. And I was like, who the hell is Sana? Okay. Yeah, yeah. All right. So number two. We'll, about this we'll do one, one more round. Okay. All right. I can't lose. This is good news. Okay. okay. Only tie. <laughs> Top seven answers on the board. What is the first thing most people do in the morning? Godson. No. Godson. <laughs> Brush their teeth. That is number six. <laughs> okay. Number six. All you have a chance to to take the board if you get an answer better than the sixth. Wake up. I will say open eyes. Is the, yeah, that's, that's better. Yeah, yeah. Open eyes. That's waking up. That All is right. number four. So now you've got a chance. You've got two answers gone. Uh, brush teeth and open eyes. You've got four more, five more answers that you could get out of bed. Get out of bed is not on the list. Bet. What X. do you people do in the morning? Don't worry about it. That, it. No, he's got one more strike. Have I? Yeah. Uh, eat cereal. Uh-huh. <laughs> Breakfast. That's number three. Yep. Oh, Go ahead. Okay. Yeah. All right. Three yeah. Is- you finished laughing. On that? <laughs> yeah. Three, seven, three, seven, go. Uh, Okay, what do people do in the morning? Uh, yawn. And oh. that's, that's part that's of waking something. up. Okay. For a chance to steal. Go ahead. Uh, we didn't discuss her. Well, I think, Anna, it's going to be coffee. Make coffee. And oh. part, okay. Coffee would be part of breakfast, so that's it. Oh. Ollie wins. Yay. <laughs> Ollie. See, see how awesome we are? Yeah. What was what was the number one answer? Yeah. Bathroom and then shower, breakfast, open uh, eyes, turn off alarm or snooze, brush teeth, get dressed. Yeah. Bathroom. Huh? There you go. <laughs> well, okay, that was that was pretty good. That was reassuring. That was it? reassuring. That's, we'll just play that oh, music out. Yeah, <laughs> can I be in your family? <laughs> yeah. You can take you guys, my spot. You guys might need. <laughs> you guys might need. Oh, all right. Okay. No, that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Uh, a lot less pressure on here. So a lot less pressure. 
pressure. I'm I, no, you, I mean, for you, but I mean, for them, a lot less pressure than, you know, being in front of a live studio audience, in front of the cameras, in front of the entire country, yeah. in front of Gary First D. episode, I believe, too. Is it the first, the first episode? episode? Oh, wow. Well, first taping, maybe. First I don't know if it's first the first taping. one airing. But. That is so cool. Wow. That is yeah. so cool. I know you guys got to rush off. Everyone's got to go to work or wherever they got to go. Uh, but uh, we just wanted to say thank you for coming in, and congratulations to you guys. This is going to be so much fun. Thank we you. cannot wait to see you <laughs> on TV. No pressure. No pressure. Practice, practice, <laughs> practice. <laughs> Okay, I okay. I got my I got my answers from hobbylark dot com. Hobby they've got a hundred plus fun Family Feud questions. So, oh, practice, so practice, okay. practice. You're repping the entire territory. Yeah. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, fine. The entire city. That's fine. All right, congratulations, guys. Thank you so much for coming in and having Thank fun with you. us today. Thank, Thank you. you. All Thank right, you guys. the Hernandez clan off to Toronto next month to do a taping of Family Feud Canada. We look forward to seeing it. We know they're going to do well. The Mornings at the Cabin podcast. Has the bell tolled for Taco Bell? That is the question that Ollie Williams put out there yesterday on cabinradio.ca. Um, we know that across from the McDonald's and the Booster Juice there, there has been a development in place for quite some. It's actually more across from Trevor's Independent, I would say, yeah. than McDonald's. Yeah. Um, and the, it's been fenced off for probably nearly a year, I would think. It's probably in the article, which I don't read. I don't read articles. I read headlines. Um <laughs> That's what I do. <laughs> and I take those opinions and I vote with them. Um, so it's been there for quite some time. The fencing came down, which prompted a lot of people to ask, what's going on? Yeah. Because we, we found out in May or April or whatever that it was going to be delayed. Mm. KFC was still on the docket, but Taco Bell and Starbucks were, were up in the air. Right. Right? So the fences came down, prompted a lot of people to ask, what the hell is going on? Where's my Taco Bell? Where's my KFC? Well, um, Toronto-based developer Soul Food Groups, uh, which is the company behind the planned new fast food plaza, say they're still working through some site revisions with the city, and uh, but they're moving forward, but slowly, mm -hmm. very, very slowly. But they said they're optimistic. Maybe they were just doing an experiment, and seeing let's let's see just how much Yellowknife wants this. That's right. we just like take down some fences. That's and right. just, just hide some equipment yeah. around the corner. This is all just a ploy. Let's see. Uh, let's see how concerned people get. Yeah, that's right. They got concerned. Right? Someone set up a tent and is sleeping there. <laughs> I wish that were true. I wish that were true. Someone was just like, I'm sleeping here until Starbucks arrives. Call it a hunger strike. That's right. In March, they said KFC is the only one that's still 100%. Yeah. Right? So Taco Bell and Starbucks, maybe not happening. And we haven't really heard too much no. since that time. No. Yeah. So, so the concern. The concern. is understandable. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, and I mean, having a KFC back, I mean, people are obviously going to be pretty excited about that. Um, gonna compete with Mary Brown's, obviously. Uh, I think that's, I think that's kind of, I think that kind of sucks for Mary Brown's because I think a lot of people kind of go to KFC, but it's been doing pretty well. Um, and, but then the Starbucks and the Taco Bell still kind of up in the air. I am on record as saying I don't, I could care, I, I couldn't care less if we had a, if we had a Starbucks here. I could not care less. We have plenty of local places to buy coffee. We do not need a Starbucks. We need to start supporting local businesses that are owned locally and, you know, put money back into the, Friggin' economy, yeah. But uh, you know, Starbucks, whatever. And I mean, I mean, I don't really care if we get a Taco Bell either. It'd be nice, but at the same time, I don't care. Like, yeah. Our, we don't need. To, we don't need to be more like the South to feel like a real city. Like, yeah. At all. I don't so. think. Uh, you know, as far as the the inane question that we have every once in a while, what restaurants would you like to see in Yellowknife? Yeah. I don't think Taco Bell necessarily slots in that high on it anyone's list. at all. Like, like if, if there was a top ten for me, it wouldn't even make the top ten. Yeah. Mind you, I've been to Taco Bell three times in my. Yeah, I think twice. Maybe three me. or four times. Yeah. 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 I remember I remember the last time I was at Taco Bell, it was in Maui. Grabbed a couple of gorditas, six pack oh. of beer, went down to the beach. Well, I know and some people do just like swear by Taco Bell. I would swear by it too. Like, get this out of me. You know? Um <laughs> short shortly after leaving. Ish. Yeah, that's right. Shortly after leaving. Um, so I mean, I I don't I don't I don't have really a dog in this fight. Like yeah. we got them. I, actually, I, I'd be more. I, I I don't really have a dog in the fight, but I'd be more. I'd be more inclined to be like, I don't. We don't need them. We right. don't need them. We need yeah. to support local businesses because it's already hard enough to to have a business here. Like name brand stuff shuts down here all the time. Yeah. Let alone like people who are working as entrepreneurs to build their own business mm -hmm. and they close. Yeah. Like a name brand store will close down. Yeah. Like, that's 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 a ton. And then it's just. Back to the way it was. Back to the way it was. Yeah. Exactly. And like people are like, well, I mean, people want their Starbucks. I get it. Yeah. You know, I, I get a Starbucks if I'm down in Edmonton. 
You know, I'll grab a Starbucks at the airport or whatever. Right. But I mean, it's not something I need in my daily life because it's like, you know, it. and people are like, well, it's too expensive to buy coffee. It's like, it's more expensive at Starbucks. Mm-hmm. But you get a pumpkin spice something or other. Who cares? Yeah. You put pumpkin spice on a coffee here. Gourmet Cup does all those things. So I wonder now if the, the plan is now moving to basically like spring, summer 2020 or like fall 2020. This I say not take really... the entire area and make it into one KFC. Mm. Yeah. Four drive throughs That is. Four different seating areas. A playground. The right? chicken district. A chicken. The chicken district. That's a right. Popcorn well, chicken free, district. Free range chicken free in one range. section of it. Just like a, a section of that place is just chickens. And, you know. Whatever you just get, you got a little keep petting zoo in there too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Come pet what you're going to eat. I think that's, <laughs> that's great. That's, that's a way to return back to you know the connection between us and the animals. Because <laughs> that's what we were all missing most. That's right. With, with KFC, yeah. Our, the the connection. Absolutely. <laughs> Have you ever noticed there's not a picture of one chicken in a KFC? They don't want you to know. They don't want yeah, you they, to yeah, know really, what you're it's eating. Just, yeah, it's just some, yeah. some old guy's face. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. Who hated KFC? <laughs> he did. He did before he died. He's like, I can't believe that it turned my recipe turned into this. Oh, yeah, that is that is true. That I is didn't true know thing. that, Colonel Sanders. I mean, he was wildly senile at the time, but, mm. you know, shooting at people and whatnot. But, right? Uh, yeah. yeah, no, he just didn't like KFC at the end. <laughs> so it remains to be seen what will what will happen there. They say they're moving forward, but slowly, slow. Uh, it couldn't it couldn't move. Couldn't move much slower than it is now. Yeah. Fences up for over a year and nothing. So I guess we'll see what slowly means. Um, and slowly in, in, in Yellowknife is pretty slow, like the year, two years, something like that. So do you think the we'll... king still likes Burger King? No, 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 mm. no, no. He's vegan though. Yeah. <laughs> Going against his, all his principles just to do those ads. He's like, I gotta put food on the table. Not, ah, that, not that food, but the food that I I eat now. Yeah. Well, he's jumped on to Beyond Meat, probably. That's so, right. Yeah. 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 Ronald McDonald's been a vegan for years. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Check out more from the show at cabinradio.ca and by following the Mornings at the Cabin Facebook page.